When Life to Life Disciple Making was introduced to the Evangelical Congregational Church several years ago, the hope was that those who participated would be transformed and empowered. Janet Stoyer had been in Bible studies most of her adult life, but discovered the Life to Life arrangement much more. Much more intimate, uh, much more real. It provides a safe place for people to express themselves, um, discover themselves through God's Word and um, through each other and the Holy Spirit working in the, in the midst of that trisome. The secret, say those who have participated, is the way the groups are limited to three people who gather regularly for prayer, Bible study, and sharing. You can talk about things that you wouldn't normally feel comfortable talking about in a larger group. That's one of the neat things about a triad. And um, I think as well, um, there's an, an accountability factor there because, you know, you're, you're expected to be there and there's, there is some expectation to have looked at the material. When you only have three, uh, there's a communication between the women that you don't have perhaps because on other occasions because you're, you're talking about scripture and um, you really get to know the heart of women. Uh, you get to know how they think and feel and uh, even how they respond in situations and they become like your family almost besides them becoming disciples of Christ. The three women that I started with, we all love the Lord, but we were amazed at what happened when we deliberately did quiet time every day and we deliberately met every week no matter what and we studied the lessons, did all the lessons and discussed all the lessons and the Lord, the, the more we put into it, the closer the Lord got to us and the more he spoke to us. Through those gatherings, those who participated found marked differences in their relationship with God and with other people. It's increased my faith and, and my walk with, uh, my spiritual walk with the Lord. The longer you're in a life to life group, um, the closer you get. You, you get closer to Christ, you get closer to each other, and, and that leads you to want to meet pre-Christians and get to know them so that they can experience this joy. And um, it's, it's just phenomenal. I would say since being involved in a life-to-life -life group, I've become more bold in speaking about my faith and my relationship with the Lord with um, other people. I'm a teacher, and so at school, most of the people that I work with are not believers. And I'm much more intentional in what I say to them and how I share my faith than I was several years ago. They also feel confident to branch out to form other triads. The desire is to multiply. In other words, uh, there's a couple of guys that were in triads with me that now have gone out and accepted the challenge from God to start their own triad. So it's like a multiplication thing. I think it happens kind of unintentionally. I don't think you go in with the idea that, you know, you're going to be the leader and you're going to teach the people how to do this. You kind of go into it as equals and together. And it kind of happens as you're growing together and you're growing in the Lord. You know, you get to the place where you're challenging each other. And then I think eventually you do challenge each other to kind of step out, maybe even out of your comfort zone and start another group with somebody else. It brings Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 to life in trusting the Lord with all your heart, leaning not on your own understanding and acknowledging him and in all our ways and seeing the path made straight. You see it week after week with your participants. This kind of difference impacts a congregation where participants are involved as members of Christ's body gain new understandings of what it means to be a disciple of Christ. People have been more faithful in their coming to church services. I think they've uh, learned to understand what uh, the life in Christ is all about. I think that that has been lacking in the churches. I think they never knew what uh, uh, a member in a church was to be like. I think that, that was very lacking. Uh, and now getting into the Word uh, has helped to, to clear up maybe some questions they might have had. And I think it's brought the congregation a little bit closer together. I think it's certainly opened up doors of friendships and uh, a family-like environment within the congregation. It changes your life. You're constantly, I think, 
communicating on some level with the Lord all day long because he's, he's really in your heart. And it's not in your head anymore. It's here. If it wasn't for this triad program, I don't think I would still be in church. This really brought um, that whole ambiance of coming to church and being fed something. It brought it a whole new light when I actually had to go and study myself. When my questions, when I had questions, they would be answered by two other people in a very close, intimate environment. It wasn't just out in the open where you're afraid to ask questions. It was together with two friends. And I think that that's really what kept me going in our church. Life to Life Disciple Making, Christians meeting in triads or small groups to pray, to study the Word of God, to ask questions, share experiences, to inspire and encourage others, to figure out what God wants them to do in a lost world of hurt, brokenness, and fear. The hope was that this way of doing ministry would help Jesus' followers look and act more like Jesus himself. From the testimony of those who have participated, that goal is being realized day by day and gathering by gathering, reaching beyond the church walls to pre-believers in workplaces and neighborhoods. If we just go to church and play church and amass a lot of spiritual knowledge but we don't ever do anything with it, it's like, what are we doing? We're playing church. But I think a life-to-life -life group gives you an opportunity to actually use what you've been learning in church, maybe through the preaching or through Sunday school classes or even other Bible studies. And then you, you get together and learn how to disseminate that out into your life, like in the world. I think that's what it's all about.